Pat Love here from Love Healing Hearts. I have a little thought for you. Listen, have you ever seen a beautiful rain shower when everything is refreshed, all the colors are vibrant? It's something that happens to nature after a beautiful downpour. And the trees look greener, the grass is greener, the, the flowers, the colors are vibrant. It's really beautiful what happens to colors of nature after a wonderful shower from heaven, isn't it? Well, sometimes God wants to give us a refreshing because we're tired. Now I'm going to read one verse from Psalms chapter 72. And we are going to read verse 6. And then we're going to finish our little chat. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. Now, I know that's short, that's brief, but the point I'm making with this is God really has a way of letting us know that we don't have to do this on our own. This thing that we call life, some people refer to it as the daily grind, the drudgery, the act of existence. There is so much more to this than that. But the only way you'll find that out is if you go to God. He has a refreshing and a renewal you know, when I was taking care of my husband, there were times when I wasn't sure if I could go on another day. I was just so tired of waking up wee hours of the night and and the uh, the, the washing and the cleaning and the the, uh, the running the diapers to the trash and and uh, checking his sugar and ch I mean it was. Sometimes when you do caregiving, you feel like your whole life is swallowed up in someone else's needs. But the thing that really helped me was I was in, still in love with my husband because he's a wonderful man. But God gave me refreshings. I would have to go to God at times and say, Lord, give me more love. Give me more patience. I want Milton to get the best. I want to treat him like the king he is. I don't want my tiredness to become abuse to him. He doesn't deserve that. So give me what I need. And I'm telling you, I would wake up with a newfound love and a newfound sense of humor. And you talk about refreshing. <laughs> I would look at myself in the mirror and say, boy, God really can do some miraculous wonders. Because I know how I felt when I went to bed last night. And here I am getting up this morning feeling like me and my baby can conquer the world. When you find yourself wanting to shut somebody up or wanting to throw something across the room out of disgust or just wanting to storm out the house because you're so tired you don't want anybody asking you for another thing. It's time. It's time to go back for another shot in the arm. It's time to go back for another touch on your heart because God is so able to condition you for the task. But the reason so many of us are so quick to put people in convalescent homes, and this isn't a, a guilt trip, don't even take it like that. But a lot of it is because we don't realize that what we need to handle that type of a, of a, of a, a burden almost, we need a, a certain level of grace, the grace of God that takes us way beyond our normal human end endurance. When you find yourself getting tired, 
disgusted, even, even ready to throw in the towel. It's like, there is no more of me left. Oh, there is. Because God creates every moment. And all you have to do is ask him to create some more of you. Create some more love. Put some more in your heart. Put some more patience. A higher sense of humor. A higher level of caring. More selflessness. It's doable. You just have to want it. My husband was, was really worth it to me. Now, maybe the person you're thinking about or, or you're dealing with may have put you through some changes. I don't know. I don't know. But all I can say is, even for your forgiveness, whatever it is you need, God is and he has for the taking. All you have to do is ask. Please ask. You will find that life the same things you go through are so much easier. That's why Jesus says, thank you, Lord. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Uh, I just hit the highlights of that. Because that is what I believe God wants you to hear more than anything. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. So when you're carrying a burden and he gets through touching you, it doesn't feel so weighty. It doesn't feel like the burden that other people see it as. Because God has lifted the weight off of you. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. Keep that in mind when you're going through, when you're dealing with people that work your last nerve. There is more love because God is love and his love never runs out. But you have to go to him for it because your love will never suffice. Okay? God bless you as you endeavor to rise to a higher level of service. <laughs> I know it's tough, but you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And yes, I'm a witness. He strengthens. God bless you.